is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Leather Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and I swear get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. You are welcome to episode number 50 of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at questions under open and closed pipes, as well as one or two questions under sound waves generally. All these to refresh your memory. Now, this class depends on the previous episode. This class requires your knowledge, your understanding of the previous episode, which is open and closed pipes. For an open pipe, the first over tune is the second fundamental frequency or the second harmonics. Why for a closed pipe, the first over tune is the third fundamental frequency or third harmonics. And the second over tune here for closed pipe is the fifth fundamental frequency or the fifth harmonics. Why for an open pipe, the second over tune is the third fundamental frequency or the third harmonics. For open pipe, we have node to node. And that is lambda over 2. So the length in open pipe is lambda divided by 2. This is the wavelength over 2. While for a closed pipe, it is wavelength divided by 4 because it is from the node to anti node. Now, the wavelength for an open pipe is 2 times length because once you make wavelength subject formula, you have 2n. If there are more than one number of harmonics, or if you are given particular number of harmonics, then the wavelength becomes 2n over n, where n is the number of harmonics. So if it is 1, then wavelength is 2n. Similarly, this is 4n over n. And the fundamental frequency for an open pipe is v over 2n, while the fundamental frequency for a closed pipe is v over 4n. With this knowledge, then you are good to go. And if you still don't understand these formulas, it means you don't understand the previous episode. Please go back and understand. Because the questions I'll be answering here, I'll be answering them with the knowledge, not, not even assumption, with the belief that you follow the previous episode. Now let's look at this question. A closed pipe and an open pipe have their first overtone identical in frequency. Their lengths are in the ratio A, 1 ratio 2, B, 2 ratio 3, C, 3 ratio 4, and D, 4 ratio 5. Ladies and gentlemen, closed and open pipe. Closed, open. Now, the reason people get to the exam hall and become so confused or they fail is that they expect questions to come exactly the way they know it or exactly the way they've seen it in past questions. No. Questions, exams require your reasoning. If you understand the topic, you should be able to reason out any question. Okay, just look at this. You may not have seen this question before. Seeing it in an exam hall for the first time, would you say, I've not seen this question before, what do I do? You shouldn't say that because you already know everything you should know under open and closed pipe. So they said a closed pipe and an open pipe have their first over tune identical in frequency. It means the frequency of the first over tune of the closed pipe is the same as the frequency of the first over tune of the open pipe. So what do you do? What is the frequency of the first over tune of a closed pipe? For a closed pipe, the fundamental frequency, as you can see, 
is equals b over 4a. For a bubble pipe, the fundamental frequency, as you can see here, a is equals v over 2a. This is the fundamental frequency. But the question says, a closed pipe and an open pipe have their first over tone identical in frequency. So you look at this. What is the frequency of the first over tone of a closed pipe? For a closed pipe, first over tone is three times fundamental frequency. So first over tone here, let me say O1 is equals 3A. And that is three times fundamental frequency, which is the same thing as 3 times V over 4A. For an open pipe, the first over tone is the second fundamental frequency. So first over tone is equal to second fundamental frequency. That is 2F or F2, which is the same thing as 2 times F. Since F is also V over 2F, this will simply be 2 times V over 2F. So here becomes 3V over 4F. Now this is this length is the length of the closed pipe. Here is 2 times V, 2V over 2F. This is LO, length of open pipe. So this is the frequencies of the first over tone for open pipe. This is frequency of the first over tone for a closed pipe. The question says they are identical, which means the frequency here is equal to the frequency here. If f is equal to f, it means this is also equal to this. 3v over 4 times length of closed pipe is equal to 2v over 2 times length of open pipe. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. This becomes v over l o. If we cross multiply, here becomes 3v times l o is equals here becomes v times 4 l c v and v here are common because they have the same velocity and they have the same frequency so dividing both sides by v v cancels v v cancels v so what you are left with is 3 times L O, 3 L O is equals 4 L C. So let me put it here for clarity. 3 L O is equals 4 L C. So let's divide both sides by L O. If you divide here by L O, you divide here by L O, you have this. So this becomes 3 is equals 4 LC over LO, which is the same thing as 3 over 4 is equals LC over LO. So this is LC over LO. The ratio of LC over LO is LC divided by LO, and that is 3 plus 4, or 3 over 4. 3 over 4 is the same thing as 3 ratio 4. So as you can see, this is the correct option. Please solve that question and let me know if you find it understandable. If you have questions, please let me know. A pipe of length 45 centimeter, length 45 cm, is closed at the end. Closed at the end or closed at one end. All these refer to a closed pipe. Calculate the fundamental frequency of the sound wave generated in the pipe if the velocity of sound in air is 360 meters per second. The V you see here, the V you see here, are velocity of sound in air. So V is equals 360 meters per seconds. A pipe of length 45 cm is 
closed at the end. Calculate the fundamental frequency. F is equal question. Neglect and correction. If you have a pipe like this, this is a closed pipe wave. The wave reflects, goes back like this. Now, this is the actual length of this pipe. End correction is small length added to the pipe so that you are able to calculate resonance frequencies accurately. That is what we refer to as end correction. So they are saying we should ignore the additional length that is added. So we don't need any correction. The strength of resonance in pipe decreases with the length of the air column. And the sound wave, velocity of sound waves, can be calculated using the resonance tube experiment. Velocity of sound in air can be calculated using the resonance tube experiment. Resonance generally refers to when a body or a vi when a vibrating body sets another body in vibration so that they both move at the same natural frequency. We are dealing with closed pipe. So the fundamental frequency for a closed pipe is velocity of sound in air over 4 times length. We have the length to be 45 cm, but since velocity is in meter per second, we need to convert this length to meter to meters. So to convert 45 cm to meter, we divide by 100. So that is 0 0.45 meter. To convert cm to meter, divide by 100. To convert meter to cm, that means we need to multiply by 100. Food is ready. This becomes velocity is 3 and 3 over 4 times 0 0.45. 0 0.45. This should be 360 over 1.8 if I am correct. And 360 divided by 1.8, that should give you 200 Hz. So 200 Hz is the fundamental frequency. A sonometer is an instrument used to measure, uh, measure density, frequency, and tension of vibrating strings or tuning forks. And when you hear strings or vibrating strings, they have all the values for the harmonics or all fundamental frequencies, like the open pipe. You have first harmonic, second harmonic, not like a closed pipe, which has only all harmonics. So, for a sonometer, you have all the harmonics and all the frequencies. But we are told now that the fundamental frequency of this sonometer is 450 Hz. F is 450 Hz. What is the frequency of the fifth over tune? Fifth over tune. Like I said, a string or a sonometer measures all the frequency, which means it is the same as the open pipe. Now, if the fundamental frequency is 450 Hz, what is the fifth over two? For an open pipe, fifth or for a string or for sonometer, fifth over two is sixth fundamental frequency. Sixth times the fundamental frequency. The first over two is the second fundamental frequency. Second over two is third fundamental frequency. Third over two is four times the fundamental frequency. Fifth, uh, fourth over two is five times the fundamental frequency. While the fifth over two is six times the fundamental frequency. So we have the fundamental frequency. The fifth over two will therefore be six times four times two. Is this option D? Two thousand seven hundred. Yes. That is the correct option. The lowest note emitted by a stretch string has a frequency of 40 Hz. F is equal to 40 Hz. So they say this frequency is emitted by the lowest note, which means the frequency, the lowest frequency 
on the lowest note, the lowest sound made by the instrument. Which means this is the fundamental frequency. Because fundamental frequency is the lowest note emitted by a stretched strings. And this is also question under waves on strings. Wave on strings. The beauty of wave on strings is that they have the same harmonics and the same frequency as open pipes. We are now told that how many overtones are there between 40 Hz and 50, 150 Hz. So this is 40 Hz. This is 150 Hz. So if this is the fundamental frequency, the first overtone will be 2 Hz. Second overtone will be 3 Hz. Third overtone will be 4 Hz. So let's see. If f is 40, 2f will be 80. 3f will be 120. 4f will be 160, if I am correct. So, 160 is above 150. We are told the overtones that are between 40 Hz and 150 Hz. You are not going to add 40 Hz to the overtone because 40 Hz is the fundamental. So the only overtones available between 40 Hz and 150 Hz are 80 and 120 Hz. And we have two overtones, one, this and this. So we have only two overtones. So that makes option B correct. There are only two overtones between 40 Hz and 150 Hz. 40 Hz is the fundamental frequency. It is not an overtone. So the first overtone we have is 80 and another one is 120. So the third overtone exceeds 150. So it should be under here. So this is the reason we have only two overtones. And the last question for this episode, obviously, and like I said, get the flash learners up and play with a lot of questions under these and other topics. If the fundamental frequency of a closed pipe organ on a day when the speed of sound is 340 meters per second is more than 70 Hz. Hz is frequency, meter per second is velocity. So V is 340 meters per second. Here uh, F is 170 Hz. Then the length of the pipe is length is equals equation. So the fundamental frequency of a closed pipe is given, the velocity is given, the frequency is given. We are asked to look for length. For a closed pipe, the formula connecting velocity, length, and fundamental frequency is F is equals V over 4L. Making a subject formula for f l is equals v l is equals v over four l, and that will give you velocity is three forty three forty over four times one seventy. This is the same thing as l is equals thirty four over 4 times 17 0.5 meters remember the velocity is in meters per second so the length you are getting is definitely in meters but the options are in centimeter so how do you convert you multiply meter by 100 and that should give you 0.5 times 100 to give you 50 centimeter so 50 centimeter is the correct option this brings us to the end of this episode. Let me know how you feel using the comment box. And feel free to chat me up if you have questions and inquiries. Get the Flash Learner Jam app by visiting flashlearner.com or checking your app and play store. Flash Learners, the one with the name Flash Learners. Any other app you see, 
new lesson in my school or any advert they are not related to flash singers or to avoid confusion chat me up on whatsapp i'll send you the direct link to install the application the right one see you